something about music in a communal environment just elevates not only the other people and the listener, but the music itself. Mm. There's something really incredible about that. Is um, that always true? Not always true, okay. but it's incredibly regular. Even bad songs played loud enough or with enough people around you become incredibly enjoyable. I want to dig into that. That's facts. Yeah, let's That's talk facts. about that. Yeah, well, I, I don't know if I can like dig into that, but like even just the concept that there are certain like Christian songs, or not, I'm not going to put that in air quotes, like there's Christian songs that are just like, they're almost made to be heard. And then there's mm -hmm. Christian songs that are like made to be sung, like with other okay. people and like made to be an act of worship to God. Mm -hmm. My favorite praise and worship album is the Live from the Banks House with Will Reagan. Okay. Um, it goes crazy because it's just like a bunch of people in a room like praising God. So there's just that polyphony. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> there's the uh, there's the polyphony of like just voices like singing to God and it's just really it's it's really beautiful. Um, so yeah. and and this is once again we can go down whatever rabbit hole we want to, but my my opinion that does not reflect the opinion of Honest to God or AM eleven sixty the Quest Atlanta's Catholic Radio uh, <laughs> is that Christian music. And country music in the last 50 years have both gone down the exact same path of sort of this revamp that is made that, that, that serves to make it more palatable for mass consumption at the expense of like depth. And once again, I think there's a lot of relativism in music in general, like it's subjective taste wise. Mm -hmm. And so but the criticism that I can I've never been a big Christian music guy, but you hear about this a lot with country music. People talk about this a lot mm. where you sort of go into the more bro country that's made for big stadiums yeah. and whatever. And to make it more palatable to the general audience, a lot of a lot of the depth and soul and whatever has been stripped out. Yeah. And that's what I think of a lot of times when I turn on the radio to the local Christian pop yeah. station. And I think that's definitely true. I mean, but maybe I'm not the perfect person to speak of this because I, I agree with the whole country thing. Like I, I'm a Tyler Childers, Coulter yeah. Wall, Zach Bryan yeah. kind of guy. So it's like that's still that like broken aspect mm -hmm. of it, like the not perfect, perfect sound. It's yep. like this, like you could get pretty much the same sound if a bunch of dudes just brought their instruments into a bar. Yeah. You know, so that that kind of music, I think, really speaks to me in general. And maybe that's because I'm a performer as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. I don't know. But feel like that translates to praise and worship where um, I actually had a weird conversation with a friend of mine, Nino Castellano, um, where we talked about the similarities between praise and worship and going to a pub and listening to Irish music. Okay. Yeah. Very different <laughs> object and like uh -huh. objective, but like the concept of the community that's built around going and singing, like you said, songs just really loudly, mm -hmm. even if they're really terrible songs or just not oh. well. Sometimes they're the best songs. Going back right. to yeah, the like, aspect. Yeah. And um, we've been, me and my yeah. son have been, really, have been getting really into sea shanties lately. Yeah. Oh, for that yeah. reason. Because they're great to <laughs> oh, just yeah. belt Love out and get out of the car. Yeah. I remember there was, a, there was a point where me and my brothers were camping one time and we all ended up in like the, the big bathhouse in the middle of the campground. Mm -hmm. And then we were just like, all at the exact same moment knew exactly what sea shanty to sing because the acoustics were just perfect yeah. then we all broke out in a song it was <laughs> wow. like one of the most like brotherly moments ever that's so mm -hmm. fun yeah. yeah well that and that, i wasn't even thinking about going in that direction but i like this i like the theme of music as a as a communal mm -hmm. thing it's as great. something that bonds yeah. humans i yeah. think it's something that is essentially meant to be shared you don't mm -hmm. really yeah i don't think you write a song and sing it to yourself and that's the end of it um, I mean, <clears throat> I'm sure there are artists who have many songs that they're never going to show anyone, but right. they want to write music that is to be shared. I think it's something that is um, a collective human experience. Well, yeah. Very true. What, what is it about our humanity that makes us like, okay, maybe music is a symptom of our draw to community by virtue of our humanity. I don't know. I, 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 think I can see what you're saying. There yeah. might also be something to be said about the fact that we are co-creators. It was something you were mentioning oh, earlier. That's a Tolkien cut right there. The, the fact yeah. that like, you know, we long to imitate, I guess, our God in creation of beauty, mm -hmm. whether that's through art, music, you know, whatever creative outlet you like. Um, I think that that is one of the reasons why music is made. And then, for the benefit of the community, the rest of like the body of Christ and to be able to share yeah. beauty that leads us to God. Yeah. What I think is really cool too is like, um, I forget, I think it's a document from the USCCB called Sing to the Lord, but they're talking mm -hmm. about like the parameters of music. 
um, in like the liturgy today. And it's like, honestly, like no offense to them. It's a pretty boring document. And I say that because I've read like a document. <laughs> what? The USCCB is I, producing like, uninteresting you read, you read, documents? Like, you read Laborum Exergens and like, which is the uh, exertions or whatever, which is like the economics document from right. Pope John Paul II. And you're like crying. And then yeah. you read this. <laughs> That's a like, great point. I don't, I don't yeah. get it. But it's fine. But it's all. Um, <laughs> no, but it's, it's a great document though. And it really lays everything out very clearly. Um, and one of the things it mentions is like the purpose of music in the liturgy is actually to better represent the one of the ways because there's i forget the number but there's certain ways of certain number of ways christ is rep like presented in the mass mm -hmm. um and one of those is the body of christ being gathered together and communally celebrating the eucharist right. and so the idea that we're able to all sing the same words and be essentially even if we're not really thinking about it like be able to be have a unified mind and heart and be able to sing as one body of christ towards in praise of christ whether that's yeah. just the mass parts or whether it's the you know the hymns or whatever songs they choose and that kind of stuff but oh that's beautiful mm -hmm. all right y'all thank you so much for watching this clip uh if you enjoyed what you're seeing here make sure you go and watch the whole video down below make sure you like and subscribe and share it with anybody else who you think might be interested